Hey guys, doing another quick species spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about one of the animals that lives downstairs in the main snake room, and that is Renoir, our spiny softshell turtle. But don't do start so in advance. I apologize about the lighting down here. That's why we moved everything upstairs, just because the lighting itself is better. But I wanted to talk a little bit about him, so we have to do him here because this is where he lives. So Renoir, because all of the other good names for painters were taken, Michelangelo and such. So we went with Renoir. He's a male spiny shell turtle. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. He's a soft shell turtle. So really, the only that what he's an aquatic turtle, like all the sliders and stuff that we're used to seeing. But the difference is with the soft shell, it's not that really hard carapace. But his requirements are basically the same as like if you were setting it up for really any other aquatic turtle, with the exception of like a big fly river or something like that. Um, you know, he needs a lot of filtration. So this is a 125 gallon setup. Originally when we got him because somebody was moving and no one would even just take him for free. So essentially he's a rescue. Um, I guess he's actually our most recent rescue in all honesty. Um, but he was in a 75 gallon tank and spiny soft shells get pretty big. Um, they are sexually, dim sexually dimorphic. So that means there's a difference in color or appearance between the different sexes. And with spiny soft shell turtles, Females get huge, over two feet in diameter. These guys, the males don't get nearly as big because the females' bodies need to be larger to accommodate all the eggs and stuff. So he's still going to get a pretty good size, and he's probably about two-thirds grown. But some really fun things about the softshell turtles is they have these really long, not necessarily telescopic, but very long necks that they use because they'll bury themselves in substrate. And I actually want to put a little bit more in here so that way he can bury himself a little bit more. He has enough to pretty much bury everything in here. But I still want to give them more because it helps for them feel a little bit more secure. Um, but they have these long necks that will pop up out of the water, out of the substrate, and they can sit there and look for food. Um, if the water's shallow enough, they can just raise their heads and just come up above ground because they have that kind of long, kind of pig nose right there. They can just pop up out of the water and back down. Um, these guys are found endemically in North America. They have a pretty extensive range from all the way up to kind of like lower Canada, like the Midwest, so like in the Dakotas and Montana, all the way down into Mexico. Um, they're one of the largest species of softshell turtle, at least in the Americas, and you know, over in Asia, they have incredibly large, large species, but these guys are one of the biggest ones. Um, like I said before, their care is very similar to that of like a, like a red-eared slider, but they're not quite as voracious as them, so as you can see, he's sharing his home with a big goldfish, He's large enough to where he can't really do anything to them. They do have teeth inside of that little mouth, but they mostly eat kind of smaller stuff. So he gets fed a variety of things like a prepared uh, aquatic turtle diet. He gets silver sides, he'll get brine shrimp, he'll get bits of actual shrimp that we kind of chop up. Um, if, he, if we gave him earthworms, he would eat those. There are, you know, if we had smaller fish in here, he'd probably go after them. But with these large ones, he doesn't. So these guys actually, in, in all honesty, if you wanted to get uh, an aquatic species of turtle that isn't quite as, you know, na uh, I don't want to say nasty, that's not the correct word, but they're, they just produce less waste kind of than the red-eared sliders and they don't like to pick on other each other and other fish as much as the red-eared sliders do. These guys are really cool. Um, I don't think anybody's really breeding them for like captive bred. I'm sure this guy was a wild caught specimen from wherever this guy got him from. He wasn't the one who went out and caught him. He was given it to. He worked at a pet store and somebody just gave him this turtle because they couldn't keep it anymore. And then that's how we got him because he was moving and he couldn't keep him anymore. But Renoir is a cute little dude. When you saw him up, when he's up out, like with his neck all telescoping and he's sitting there swimming around and stuff, that's just him asking for food. And it's really cute in the morning when we come and turn on the UV lights because you know, he's a turtle, he does sunbathe, he does bask, which is why we have that little basking spot and UVB and heat lamp for him. He still needs UVB, and so that's why we have the light positioned where it is, so that way he still can get the UVB light when he's basking, as well as it will permeate uh, a little bit into the water, so he's still getting that UVB, and you need to treat that just the same as you would for any other animal, if it was a bearded dragon or whatever else that you're giving this you know, added light to, because even varying the diet and when he's getting stuff, he still needs that UVB to help metabolize and lead a healthy long life. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the spiny soft shell, 
let me know. I'm not nearly as knowledgeable when it comes to him. It's a learning process with everything else, but you know, we we gave him about a third extra room. He's doing a lot more, a lot better. He's coming out more. He's looking for food. He's more interactive. He still shoots off of the top thing when we come by and he gets a little startled, but he's still a turtle. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Hit me up uh, on Instagram, on Facebook, Jay-Z's Reptiles, just so everything's easy like that. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time.